Hello, my name is Mikhail Tikhomirov and I will tell you about pre-training and augmentation in named entity recognition for cybersecurity domain in Russia. The named entity recognition is one of the basic tasks in natural language processing. Um, the main point is to extract uh, the different label labeled um, entities from text uh, such as uh, organization, locations, uh, persons, and other. And uh, it is a uh, second tagging task in general. And um, uh, now, uh, NER is still a problem uh, for specific domains uh, because specific domains uh, requires new datasets, new instructions for cre dataset creation and labeling. And uh, specific domains also often contains uh, specific terminology and many algorithms uh, uh, can have uh, problems with this. And uh, this paper uh, will be about information security domain because it's uh, really necessary and helpful for information security specialists uh, to get um, uh, update information about viruses, hackers, and uh, vulnerabilities. Um, it's the plan of my talk. And uh, Next, uh, uh, data. Uh, we, we used uh, SQL corpus, which uh, was introduced by uh, Anastasia Sirotina and Natalia Lukashevich in uh, one of previous work. And um, uh, this corpus wo was created from publications and forks of the security lab site. Uh, it's uh, all about unstructured uh, text. This text uh, contains uh, real special terminology, often written in spoken genre of text and contains mistakes, uh, um, and uh, some artifacts uh, uh, such as uh, code snippets, for example. And it can be um, logs from some poll, for example. Okay, and uh, as example, you can see uh, these sentences. Um, uh, as you can see this written in spoken. Uh, general text and uh, contains smiles and uh, uh, some specific terminology. Uh, this data set uh, contains uh, of uh, nine, uh, eight thousand uh, uh, eight hundred sixty-one abstracted text and. Uh, mm, uh, it's uh, more than, uh, it's particularly half of million tokens. Uh, and in this data set, um, um, label it uh, uh, nine uh, different uh, labels. It's uh, hackers uh, for single hacker and hacker groups uh, programs for uh, different computer programs, uh, uh, but not viruses. Uh, devices for different electronic devices. Page for some technology uh, which uh, uh, write it in um, right way. For example, uh, um, for example, um, HTTP, uh, Viruses, of course, uh, uh, it's about um, different malware and vulnerabilities and other events for uh, specific events, for example, events about uh, uh, information security, uh, conferences, uh, person, 
location and organization uh, as usual. And as, as you can see, for uh, such uh, label as Hacker, uh, the, there are only 60 uh, uh, cases when this label uh, <clears throat> appear in the text. It's a very small number. Okay. Um, for uh, to handle uh, this task, we used uh, uh, the modern uh, architecture BERT. BERT is a uh, multi layer neural network, uh, network by, based on transformer architecture, and uh, uh, BERT consists of uh, more than 100 millions of parameters and the uh, main. Um, uh, features of this architecture is uh, uh, contextualized uh, embeddings for tokens. It's a, a special pre-trained procedure uh, and uh, uh, pretty fast fine-tuning procedure for specific um, downstream tasks, uh, like near, yeah, for example. And we. Uh, um uh, also train it uh Peru Cybert model uh which um, was trained on uh, uh news text about information security in Russian for uh five hundred thousand uh, steps and um uh, uh, it's trained with uh, 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 masked language modern task um, as uh, in pre-training stage. Uh, and Robert was uh, used as a base for training. Uh, the training procedure uh, took two days uh, on NVIDIA GeForce. At 1080. Uh, and uh, in total, uh, 4 million sentences were processed. Uh, other point of our work is uh, automatic data augmentation. We try to augment some additional data uh, for hackers and viruses because uh, hackers and viruses uh, is, are. Um, Mm, one of the most interesting um, labels for this task. Uh, and uh, for hackers, we have only 60 uh, uh, cases, and it's very small. And uh, the core idea is uh, that in, mo in the most context, where a descriptor uh, is mentioned, some other variants of mentions are possible. Uh, uh, it means that when we uh, when we see some sentence, when we can uh, some oh, some sentence about uh, viruses, for example, when executed, the one cry malware first checks the kill switch. And so on, uh, uh, and uh, malware in this case is a descriptor, and uh, the idea in uh, the main idea in that that we can uh, switch uh, uh, one guy on other virus, and uh, it will be okay. Uh, it may be okay. Um, and uh, there are, uh, we can uh, add uh, some virus, virus uh, after, in Russian after, in English before uh, the descriptor, or we can um, replace the descriptor with the virus name, and for hacker too. And uh, we introduce two type of augmentation. Uh, this inner augmentation when we used 
uh, train its sentences uh, and try to find um, some descriptors without uh, any of named entity after this descriptor and we try to uh, insert and replace this descriptor with uh, a hacker virus from our uh, dictionaries and outer augmentation when we augmentate uh, sentences from uh, um, our news data set uh, for example Hmm. Original uh, sentence can be uh, and the number of for instance, software protection tools against hackers is lower. So, uh, and we can insert um, after hacker in Russian uh, or before in English uh, some re uh, hacker's name uh, because hacker is not only. Um, person it can be a hacker group too okay and and the number of for instance software protection tools again sandworm hacker is lower and so on. as you can see this sentence look uh, looks uh, very nice and we think um, it can be useful for uh, that augmentation uh, Okay, uh, um, augmentation algorithm. Uh, uh, in input, we have uh, some corpus of text and labels with descriptor. In our case, we have two labels, hacker and viruses, and uh, uh, rule uh, written by uh, uh, persons, uh, descriptors like uh, hacker, hacker group, uh, and, and other spyware, malware for viruses. And on output, we uh, will uh, have uh, sentences, uh, labeled sentences. Okay. Uh, and uh, of course, um, this augmentation can um, can do mistakes uh, in more uh, specific. Uh, if, if we go more specific, uh, for each label, uh, we have uh, uh, for each L, uh, label we want to create uh, possible uh, candidates for for inserts or for replacement, because we don't know uh, all uh, viruses or hackers' names. And to do it, we search for all sentences in our news dataset with descriptors and uh, uh, situations when after descriptors, we see some uh, English uh, words uh, with a capital uh, letters. Uh, it can be multi-word expression, it, it can be a single word, uh, like uh, si silencing uh, this example. Uh, and uh, next, when we have uh, uh, the dictionary with the possible uh, viruses and uh, um, hackers, uh, for outer augmentation, we search for all sentences without, uh, with descriptors, of course, uh, without capital letters at all. Uh, and not counting first letter of sentence, of course. And uh, these all sentences will be our candidates. Uh, for inner augmentation, we uh, only search for uh, sentences with descriptors and uh, without uh, words with capital letters after descriptors. And then for each candidate, uh, uh, we can do uh, the next procedure. We can uh, remain sentence as it is. We can um, replace descriptor with uh, 
uh, hacker random hacker name or um, we can insert after the descriptor as uh, this random uh, hacker or virus name and uh, for outer augmentation we can generate uh, many sentences uh, with such procedure with inner augmentation it uh, it's, um, depends on uh, our data uh, now uh, about models which we uh, with which we experimented we experimented with CRF model because uh, it was the best uh, model on this data set in previous works. Um, CRF model used um, various features uh, like uh, string features, uh, uh, lines of the token, first letter, case, and uh, um, other. Uh, uh, lem, epigrams, pass of uh, speech, uh, some lexicon features, uh, which means if this word uh, was in special uh, dictionaries, uh, some clusterization feature and context feature. Uh, and uh, also we used the BERT model with only dense layer after and soft max as uh, activation function function mm. um, soft max after dense layer uh, and uh, we uh, checked three different uh, models it is uh, multilingual bird, bird base uh, case it uh, from uh, google uh, it's Robert, which uh, was trained by the public team, and uh, Rusai Bert, uh, which uh, uh, was trained by us, using uh, Robert as uh, base in civilization. Uh, for the experiments, we divided all data uh, in four folds, and we tried to uh, divided it, it in such a way um, that all labels will be uniformly uh, uh, distributed uh, for this fault. Uh, and we uh, run every model uh, except CRF four times with uh, different seeds and then we uh, average uh, average it all runs and calculated uh, standard deviation for each fault and then uh, we average it between runs um, um, and uh, augmented sentences uh, were added only for um, the train part of data um, yeah, uh, and standard devi deviation was calculated on each fault. Yes. Uh, and as a result, firstly, uh, firstly, there is a table with uh, basic models without any augmentation. And as you can see, uh, a beard, beard uh, shows. Uh, the better results than CRF, of course. Uh, uh, BERT column, it is a multilingual, BERT based base, uh, model. Uh, Robert uh, shows uh, the better results than multilingual one, and Rue Cybert um, shows uh, the best results. In, in this table for every particular every label um, and uh, of course more model uh, knows domain more, more model knows data then the better results um, um, now about augmentation 
uh, because we augmented only in hacker and viruses we will show only information about macro and uh, macro f measure and uh, mean of hacker plus viruses measures uh, and uh, as uh, underlined uh, data um, means that um, uh, this value better than the base one a bolt um, uh, means the best one uh, and uh, as we can see uh, when we use augmentation recall often uh, grows for CRF and the precision uh, otherwise uh, will be low but uh, mm, f one measure uh, Mm, better in these cases uh, with any of augmentation. We uh, use different sizes for outer augmentation. It is 100 sentences, 200 sentences, 400 sentences. We tried more, but um, uh, in cases with more sentences, the results are worse. Uh, and for C CRF, we can see that um, the inner augmentation show the best results with uh, mm, a good uh, grow compared to base one. For multilingual, uh, their base case, uh, uh, we can see that uh, precision uh, decreased. Recall. Uh, is increase um, as in the previous case and um, F measure um, sometimes better, some, sometimes worse, but the best uh, results uh, uh, for F1 measure uh, for cases with, uh, with the augmentation and uh, uh, where I important thing is that uh, standard deviation lower with augmentation than uh, uh, compared to base one and uh, so a really important thing I think um, for Ruberg uh, we also for all models we also try it uh, not only uh, augmentate and hacker and viruses, but we also try to augmentate only hacker or only viruses. But uh, uh, only for a rubber uh, table, we present information about uh, uh, outer augmentation of viruses um, because the best uh, results for rubber was with the outer viruses augmentation. Uh, and um, we can see that um, for Robert augmentation helps too, but not so um, many as uh, for, not so much uh, as for uh, Bert or for Syria. Uh, but in general, we see um, the similar um, situation, uh, the precision decrease uh, in general, not only uh, not uh, for outer viruses station and recall uh, is uh, increase uh, and the best uh, one uh, in this situation is uh, outer augmentation for only viruses uh, and last one the table about uh, root cyber and augmentation with uh, root cyber uh, where uh, Rus um trained on uh, new corpus from we uh, did the outer augmentation and uh, Rus pretty well know the date and maybe because of it um, augmentation uh, only helps with standard deviation but um, um, 
mean results are worse uh, than the base one. But uh, uh, the picture uh, very similar in uh, uh, because uh, precision decays. Recall uh, using grease. Yes. And uh, our conclusions, we can make uh, the next conclusions. Uh, the weaker model, uh, the more described documentation helps uh, to improve results. Uh, the described documentation uh, almost always reduces standard deviation of models, um, which means the models will be more stable. The described augmentation method increase recall and reduce precision of uh, all models, uh, besides some cases. Uh, Russ Ibert currently shows the best results on this dataset, on the called dataset. And uh, uh, Russ Ibert is open for uh, access, uh, but more powerful version, which was trained after this on more uh, uh, steps um, and uh, results um, can be accessed, uh, accessed model results and SQL corpus can be accessed um, by these links. Link. Uh, thank you for your attention.